All right, guys. Uh, we do these every year where I want to talk about uh, collecting goals for the next year, like basically my wish list or whatever. His greedy motherfucker list. <sighs> <laughs> I always have stuff that's on my hit list there that I that I want to get. This year's a little bit different because yeah. the game room is almost full. I know people probably say, no, it's not even close, but it we don't want it to be cluttery. Yeah, the comfort level. Now, yeah. now saying that, there's a lot of filler, and, and, and there's yeah. no reason to keep all the filler. If something nice comes in, because I still there's still a lot of games I want to collect for. There's oh, still yeah. some high-end oh, stuff yeah. there that like, I want to get. Let's say the original Xbox, for example. I have like, what, 200 and... Oh, it's 260 60, plus. It's like... 266 game or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, we had the collection video not that long ago. I, I haven't come close to even playing. Not oh, even, not even, no. No, not, no. Even a, not even 100 of those games. So like, there's a bunch of them that gotta go. <laughs> I know. And you know, that's not a bad thing. That just means that whatever we take out, you're, you're, you, we put it towards something we yeah. really want. I and mean, I say that and I don't want to get rid of any of them, but that's whatever. Yeah. So I got myself a little list like I normally do here. Yeah. Let's start off. I'll just go from the top of my list. I kind of like just jot a shit down real quick. PS1, for, the, for some reason this year, like since I started getting into RPGs, I've been looking at PS1 games a little bit harder now. Mm -hmm. And that console was really known for their RPGs. Well, yeah. It's yeah. like really heavy on that. And I have you know, recommendations from other YouTube channels mm -hmm. or friends and all of that. People have asked me, like friends have asked me, what's your holy grail? And like the the holy grail I'm looking for right now, and the game that comes to my mind first is Kudelka. Yeah. But that's think... pricey AF. It is super pricey. So, yeah, Kudelka is definitely high on the list. Do you think I'm gonna get it this year? I want it. Probably not. Yeah. I haven't even seen it. Let's name off a couple of them Ooh. real quick there. Um, Sui Coden, I always struggle with that Sui name. Sui Coden collect the the series. There's five total. Plus, well, the, there's a tactics one. That yes. I have, but there's only one that I don't have. That's number two. That's on PS4. Oh, and it's hella expensive. I'd like to I'd like to dive into that series a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And you know, here's one that people might not even have a clue of what it is. Okay. Rising Zan. I have no clue what that is. It's a uh, kind of like beat 'em up stylish samurai okay. style. Yeah, I could see that. Why yeah. that would be on your uh, list? Stupid rare because and if because I do this fucking video, there it'll go up <laughs> even more in price, and people will blame me. But I've been looking for one for a couple of years. What are we talking price wise for that one? What around ballpark? What do you think it goes for? Uh, I would say between 100, 150 for oh, us. That's with shipping. That's not so bad. Because because eBay they just crucify you in shipping mm -hmm. prices, right? And I know some people are like, I don't go over $100 for a retro game, but... All our new games are $100 we'll now. We'll spend $100 on a new game, so we might as yeah. well get a game that is not coming down in value. Those new games are going to come down in value. Yeah. It's, it's just... Yeah, it's just... The rare few won't, Game smart, if you can. <laughs> exactly. So. We'll keep an eye out for it. Legend of Mana, I've been looking for it for a long time. You have been. I mean, it's on the Switch, too, yeah. but I, I, I never got, I, sh I should have got the physical copy when it came out. I don't know. Have. I think it might be a limited run thing. Sure. Since we were on um, uh, SX Retro. Is, yeah, no, SX Retro. That's a, yeah. Yeah. He showed us Clock Tower, and now I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't want the I Clock do want, Tower I series. do want Clock Tower. We don't do this list of what I want. We just do it of what did Scott I, wants. Did I already say Breath of uh, Breath of Fire? No, 3. you didn't. Okay, Breath of Fire three is on here. Kudelka, Clock Tower, yeah. Rondia. That's because um, Mondain. Mondain that's his, is yeah. That's his number one, and I have uh, Grandia two on the yeah. Dreamcast, yeah. and I'm wanting to play it, but I want to play number one first. And, I they probably that. don't, you know, I probably could yeah, play two with a number one, could, but I don't know. But I'm the same way. Even if I could play a game out of order, yeah. kind of want to play it in the order it was intended to be played in. Yeah. You know, All when right. it released. My original Xbox collection, I'm glad I got what I got when I did because those prices. Here's some of the ones on my list there Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's one of the heavier oh, hitters. Yes. O yes. Otogi 2. Otogi 2. That's gone up in price. Yeah. Dino Crisis 3 has uh, gone up in price. Uh, Gun Valkyrie. That's gone up in price. Yeah. And those are like, those are all on my list. And right it's now. hard to have the ones you have and not want yeah. the sequels to the game. Like, you almost want to complete that subset, especially with Sui Coden 2. Well, yeah. It's like right out of order. You're like, you can play the first one and then you're <laughs> fucked. 
There's one on the list that you probably want to get. Mm -hmm. PS... After you told me about it. PS2. Siren. Yeah, Siren. Told me it was sur survival, survival horror, horror, and I'm like, I'm in. Yeah. I don't even need to see it. I'm just buy it. I think I've only ever seen it once in town. Yeah. yeah. At the time, I Expensive probably... Expensive game? Uh, I would say probably around the $80 okay. for us, you know, Canadian. Yeah, you that's know? not so bad. Depending on if it's complete or not. There. You know what? I'm surprised you're adding an NES game. Ever since we got the EverDrive, and I know, I know it's emulation, but it's emulation at its top tier, I think, at the best level you can get it. You're still putting in that cartridge. I get it, guys. I get it. It's still emulation, but there's only so much space. I seen <clears throat> what you added there, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. All right, I want a complete copy of my favorite game on the NES, and that was Double Dragon 2. Mm -hmm. I would like to have complete inbox and, and a nice copy of Dreamcast. I have a very small collection for the Dreamcast. You do. One of the ones I want is Code Veronica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be nice to have. And that one I don't think is super expensive. It's definitely the most expensive copy or... or of Code uh, Veronica? Yeah. Okay. Uh, GameCube might be more now. Take that back. Behind I wonder it. what it plays best on. I heard Dreamcast. Dreamcast. That's why okay. I want to play it on the Dreamcast. Okay. I have toys next. There's one... Okay, mm. I, I have a whole room of toys, he and does. I don't collect a lot of toys now because I don't come across them. No. I collect a lot of the 80s toys yeah. and maybe, like, early 90s. One that's, like, a kind of a holy grail toy that I want is the mobile command center for G.I. Joe's. The small, the three-and-a-half-inch yeah. G.I. Joe's. I had that when I was a kid. I think it has three or four levels, kind of like a, like a toolbox. It folds out. Yeah. Yeah. It was like oh. a, almost like a big tank. You can get it on eBay, and yes, you're going to pay for it. I'm worried about it shipping here. I'm worried about it's going to get crushed. Do we need this thing complete? Because yes. I feel like things like that probably have a hundred little pieces. Probably half a thousand. Of them. Oh my god. But there are listings that say complete. Now, if you're gonna... Like complete or complete in box. No, no. I just want complete. I don't need complete in okay. box. Okay. If you start in the box, I bet you can triple your price. So anyway, my, my idea with the toy room here eventually is to get all the workout equipment out of there. Yeah. And then go with a lot of retro CRT TVs. Like, I want one from like every decade. Like, I want one from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I'd like to have the mobile command center on top of one of the big TVs. Because I have one t big TV common there. And my yes. uncle has it. It's a big floor model. Big bitch probably weighs about 100 pounds there. And I wanna, I'd like to put that on top. Yeah, that would be cool. I got some consoles and stuff. Xbox 360 Elite. Elite. Because that's the best version of the Xbox 360 from what I understand. I understand. And weird enough, the last one on my list is the Atari 2600. I want the wood, oh, the wood, the wood panel, panel one because I just have the stupid one. Do you know what I'm surprised one, is not the on there? Because I didn't. I might have forgot. I didn't know Atari 2600 would was going to be your last thing. I thought it was going to be PS3 80 gigabyte. Oh, the backwards compatible. Yeah. Yeah, I want I want one of those. When we never see them. The way you tell if it's backwards compatible, if you look at the bottom oh, in the front. Yeah. It's got four USB ports. Yeah, I think I think that's the only way you can tell for sure. Yeah, I, I think you. I think I remember you telling me that. Listen, before we wrap this video up, I have an idea. I, idea? I have an idea. I'm gonna pull it in my ass. Okay, I have all of our consoles, not handhelds, but just consoles, written down in order. I think. I think. And I would like to rapid fire just whatever comes to your mind first. Collecting goals, what you would like to get. If you could have any game for that system, what would be the one game you'd like to have? One game? One game. Rapid fire. Ready? Just say the one then. I, you named a lot. <laughs> but same. I the know top can. one? Yeah. No, right. just say whatever one is the first one that comes to your mind. All right. Okay. Atari. I don't think there's anything I want. There, I, I got a couple of the big... Big ones I there. got you Beam Rider. I think that was the last Beam one. Beam Rider and Double, Double Dragon, Dragon <laughs> which was a pretty bad one, but they're yeah. novelty items and conversation starters. Exactly. Uh, or yeah. Enders, we don't know. Yeah. Uh, NES. Oh, I said I want my complete copy of uh, Double Dragon 2. Master System? See, this Master System is hard to collect for around here. Um, Rapid Fire. Computer. I feel like you're wasting time. Ease. I'm going to okay. say Ease. Okay. SNES. Oh, I'm sure there's stuff. Mm. Everdrive. Okay. Uh, Genesis. A Splatterhouse. There's two and three on there. PS1. Uh, Grandia. Grandia. Oh, I thought you'd take Adulka or something. Well, that was the first one you mentioned. Well, I just don't 
think, I think, I don't know when I'm going to find Cadelkia. Cadelkia? Yeah. Yeah, okay. New pronunciation <laughs> of Cadelkia. N64. Uh, you know what? There's not a lot on the N64. I'm having a hard time getting into that. I know. Boo! Um, I'm looking for more wrestling games. I think I have one or two of them there. I'd like to try them all because I hear here they're pretty good. Yeah, Dreamcast. Code Veronica. PS2. Siren, I think I said that one earlier. Uh, GameCube. I'm gonna go with Tales of Symphonia, I think it's called, because I just finished Tales of Arise on the PS5, and it's pretty did. awesome. Uh, Xbox, original. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. 360? I think I just want... Right now, I'm just... Look, when I look on eBay, it's just more of a... Only on Xbox kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't have any real targets. I support that. PS3. Painkiller? Yeah, painkiller. Oh. Wii. Wee. Last story. PS4. Uh, more VR games. Xbox One. Why do you need Xbox One? We got a PS4. Wii U. There's all... Oh. There's an expensive one I don't think I'll ever see. Devil's Third. Switch. It's too it's too modern still there that I'm not really yeah. hardcore. If I see a good game that's at a decent price, because Switch is still a little bit pricey. Yeah. I know people really loved Dread on the Switch, but... Metroid Dread? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't have it yet. So. Not yet. No. I'm that hoping it'll go down eventually. Yeah. That's when I want to grab it. Yeah. PS5. I'll say Sifu because that's the oh, one I'm looking forward to. Yeah. That's probably going to be the next new game I get. I think it's coming out in February or March or something. And the last one, Xbox 360. There's. I want to make a paperweight. Oh, I'm playing throw it at the New Halo. Oh yeah, that's true. You forgot one though. What I forget? Turbo Graphics 16. Off the top of my head. No, I went in order, but I must have skipped over the Turbo Graphics and go back far enough. But it, I did because I said Atari. <laughs> Turbo Graphics. What? The Turbo Graphics is in with an. Uh, I do believe with the NES and the I Master know, System. I know, but I just got there. Maybe. And I, was like, I didn't. Maybe need to. even a little bit into the next generation. Yeah. With the okay, Super just Nintendo name it. I want Splatterhouse. That'd be yeah. the one I want. Yeah. Or they're, they have a whole slew of like uh, See, shoot 'em I, ups that I don't know even know. I but say, I do have an EverDrive. So. I want to say I skipped over it because we have an EverDrive, so that's what I'm gonna say. So anyway, the whole purpose of this video is I will, I've been doing this for three years now mm -hmm. that I, I wanted to do another one, but I wanted to see what you guys are getting or what do you what do you want? Put it in the comments. Is there something that you're on the hunt for? Because that's that's the good thing of the community there. Because if you share it in the comments, a fellow YouTuber or somebody, a viewer or whatever might, have it for sale. might see it and say, hey, I know where I can get one there. If you want to pay for shipping, you know, exactly. Pick it up there. Or if you guys want to do a video response, just yeah. what are your collecting goals for 2022? I'd love Has to know. Has it changed? Are you downsizing? Are you trying to complete your collection of something? Mm -hmm. You know, Retro Ghetto's trying to finish off his Wii U collection. And uh, Sega Zombie. And Sega Zombie. Yeah, it's trying to finish Ma a Master. No, the Mega Drive. Mega Drive, yeah. Is the Mega yeah. yeah. I know was... Retro Wolf has a complete GameCube. GameCube. Yeah. Um, he has, Tell does, Splash? Doesn't he have a complete N64? Oh, Didn't he complete it this year? Oh, he may have. I thought he I seen have. that. Yeah. He may have. Let's let's end this video before you add shit to your list that I simply can't afford. Because we put a roof <laughs> over our heads this year. That's the problem. This yeah. year's going to be a little tighter than normal. But you know what? We'll appreciate the games we can get. Oh, I can just play through the backlog. We'll play through the backlog. Yeah. Okay, guys. Until next time, finish your beer. Chug your beer. Whoa. I don't know if I can drink Whoa. it. Whoa. Whoa. Game on. Oh, can't believe I swallowed all that. I know. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs>